ago, I was cutting grass in my front yard. And the mailman shows up with a letter from the army. Now I'm here. Soldiers. This was a fantastic movie, like genuinely, like lots of fun, full of energy, uh, um, just crackling with life. How does a hirsute gentleman like yourself from Australia end up directing this huge, uh, monstrous, super soldier, horror, war flick hybrid. Firstly, not many people call me gentlemen, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I, I went into this, uh, uh, you know, knowing it was going to be pretty, pretty crazy. And, uh, and, you know, when I first read it, uh, JJ gave me the script and said, what do you think? I was like, man, this is completely bonkers. It's like Indiana Jones on acid. Um, but you know, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, make sure that we um, we balanced that crazy, uh, uh, intense action and, and horror with um, with emotion. And so, uh, you know, I really wanted to um, spend the time to um, to to invest in these characters, get to know them, get to love them before they get dro dropped into hell. So that was really important to me. And JJ, um, you know, he always talks about like getting the audience to lean in. And uh, I think the, the, the way you do that is that you've got to love your characters and be behind them when, they're, um, when the bullets start flying and the explosions start happening. Otherwise, there's no tension. There's no, there's no real jeopardy because you don't really care about them. We, so, don't, we don't love this guy, though. Like, you, sir. Uh, and by the way, we could look the other way when you sided with Cersei. Like, that's, that's one thing. <laughs> okay. But now the fucking Nazis as well? I know. Like, I know. come on, man. I'm going full evil in 2018. What, what is it with you, man? Uh, why... Why are you drawn to these great villain roles, these kind of iconic I, villains? I, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to this guy uh, as a filmmaker. Right. And that's the main reason why I wanted to be a part of it. We had a meeting like nine, nine months, a year in advance, and, and we, we talked about it. And I, I thought these ideas were very interesting. You know, it's just not a, a Second World War film or a story about monsters and super soldiers. It is so much more than that. And, and I was right. <laughs> You know, uh, secondly, it's one of those arc villains you want to try just once in your career because everyone knows that there's not been anything more terrifying than the Second World War. I, I like it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I've had a bad childhood or something. I kind of like those. Maybe you're just really sweet in real life and you want to channel the dark side or something? Maybe that's me. Maybe it's me not want to pay for therapy. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's all up on there on the screen. I mean, yeah. you're a very convincing Nazi, a little bit too convincing at times. And, yes. Uh, but a, a good villain is always a mirror of the lead. Yeah, right. You know? Sure. But there's, there was one specific scene that I thought was so critical and so important for the whole movie, and that's where the table is turned. That's the moment where I'm, uh, you know. Yeah, right. So we can't, I can't go into specifics, but that's the scene that I really enjoyed making right. with, with the right. White Russells because he's a, he's an amazing actor, and it was you know you actually showed something that I haven't seen on film so much. Right on. Now this film crackles with energy, and there's a real synergy between you two in terms of director and, and actor. Mm. Um, there's such an energy here, like I, I I couldn't get over it from the first kind of getting out of the plane and the dude spinning around, and then everything you did had this kind of dark, uh, forceful power to it. Uh, what was with you two? Like, what, what was the, the synergy there? How did that happen? For me, it was uh, meeting Pilo for the first time and just sitting down. And um, he's a filmmaker and not just an actor. And okay. he, he, um, he's a real lover of cinema. And, and we just got to talking about our favorite characters and, and films and um, life in general. We, we came out of that meeting just knowing that we were going to be friends for life. And you really need, um, you really need when you're going into a movie like this, um, which is really intense, um, uh, the characters are going to a really intense place, 
Um, the actors are going to a really intense place with these characters. And uh, you need to know that you can trust your, your, your actors. They're going to really push. And, and Peel is really generous. He's a really generous actor who, um, who gives everything and, um, and is always willing to try stuff out and play. Um, he comes in with a very clear um, you know, idea and agenda, but um, on the day will allow himself um, the freedom to just to, to try, try things out. And I, and I think, you know, that actor-director relationship um, for me is really important. Uh, without it, you, wouldn't, you don't get the magic, you don't get the crackling uh, and intensity. It's, it, it becomes very stale and one-noted. And I think we wanted to really, uh, with, with Wathna, create something that was very, uh, you know, three-dimensional. He was um, both charming and deadly at mm. the same time. Mm. Could you he could, feel it he could kiss you and kill you. Right. But <laughs> could you feel it on set? Could you feel like, yeah, this I, is no, working? No, this is. No, we, 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 you feel it. Yeah. Because, we, you know, we're both professionals and sure. we've both made films before and we know what we want. But the thing is, the best actors are the ones that are generous. And it's not my job to sit there and select for Julius what he should pick and choose from in the editing room. It's my job to give him, as the captain of the ship, so much material that he can go go home and he can go like, this is the way I want him, this is the way I want him, and this is the way I want him in that scene. Because that is how I like making movies and that's how I like work. I, that's how I like working with this guy. You know, he's, he's, he's the chef and I'm just an ingredient. Did, did it ever get grim on set for, for either of you? Because you're dealing with this real world horror as well as the more kind of uh, out there horror. I can answer that because, uh, no, not at any stage because we're all such uh, friends and yeah. we had a, a strong team from the, the get-go. I, I put the, um, the, the soldiers through, uh, through boot camp and obviously that was an intense thing for them to, to bond. Um, but, uh, you know, then, then um, Mathilde, uh, who plays Chloe, and um, Pilu came in and, uh, you know, there was, they, they all just became like very um, good, good friends. And so um, when we were on set, uh, it, was, it was just, it was just um, playful. It was right. like, there was never like, oh, we're going to, you know, um, we're going to go method here and, and be be uh, Pilu's going to stay by himself and, and you, kinda... didn't, you didn't do Nazi stuff in character or anything. No, or... <laughs> no, no, no. No, we, we all, um, we, so we'd all uh, wrap for the day, go out for a beer and, and hang, you know, it was, uh, um, as soon as the cameras um, turned off, it was like fun and everyone was joking and... You no, know, we're professionals. Right on. That's, yeah. It's the only, it's the only way you can, um, I think the only way you can really uh, get, get the most out of everyone is if everyone works as a team and, and, and gets along. I think one of the one of the few things we did that was was interesting as well was that. But when when I get my at, at, at one point in the film, something happens to my face. Yeah, you know, sure and you can does. see it on some of the posters. Yeah, yeah, and we wanted to get a real reaction from the guys when they saw it the first time. So right. we kind of had me in makeup and prosthetics for like four or five hours, and then. Everything was set up, everything was lit, everything was ready. And then I would come in at the end and we would shoot on the guys that needed to do a reaction first. So right. that was the first time they would see my face, which can be horrifying you, sometimes. You, sir, are a monster and a fantastic <laughs> one. Gentlemen, thanks very much. Thank you so much. For We're done. Um, I really did love this film. I thought it was like absolute hoot. What do you do with those people? They have been.